Have you ever wondered about the unseen consequences of nuclear testing? Well, let's dive into the depths of history and explore. In the mid-20th century, amidst the turmoil of global conflict, the concept of nuclear testing emerged as a significant and controversial part of our world's narrative. One notable site that bore witness to this was the Bikini Atoll, a group of 23 islands nestled in the heart of the Pacific Ocean. In the late 1940s and early 50s, the United States selected this tranquil paradise for a series of momentous nuclear tests. Among these was Operation Crossroads, which in 1946 saw the detonation of not one, but two atomic bombs. One exploded in the air and the other underwater. This operation aimed to study the effects of nuclear explosions on naval vessels and structures. Another significant test was the Baker test, where an atomic bomb was detonated underwater, creating a powerful blast and causing substantial water displacement. The nuclear tests at Bikini Atoll were not without their consequences. But what happened to the people that once called Bikini Atoll home? This question uncovers a tale of displacement and broken promises. The indigenous population of Bikini Atoll was relocated to other islands within the Marshall Islands, all for the sake of ensuring their safety during the nuclear tests. They were given assurances, promises that they would be able to return home once the dust had settled. These promises, however, were empty. Ongoing contamination from the nuclear fallout made the islands uninhabitable. Imagine being told that you could return home, only to find that your home was forever tainted by an unseen and dangerous force. The reality was harsh and unforgiving. The US government did provide compensation to the affected communities, yet no amount of compensation could ever replace the loss of their homeland, the loss of their sense of place, and belonging. The people of Bikini Atoll were forced to start anew, to rebuild their lives on unfamiliar soil. What's more, they had to grapple with the health risks associated with radioactive contamination. Despite being encouraged to return home in the 70s, the invisible threat of radiation loomed large, casting a long shadow over their lives. The human impact of the nuclear tests at Bikini Atoll is a poignant reminder of the real cost of nuclear testing. It's not just about the environmental destruction but also the human lives disrupted and forever changed. The people of Bikini Atoll had paid a heavy price. The environment too bore the brunt of these nuclear tests. The detonations at Bikini Atoll left an indelible mark on the islands and the surrounding waters. The resulting fallout contaminated the land, the sea, and everything in between. This radioactive poison seeped into the very fabric of the ecosystem, making the atoll uninhabitable for decades. But the land wasn't the only victim. The sea life in the surrounding waters was also dealt a severe blow. The nuclear tests disrupted the delicate balance of the marine ecosystem. Many species of fish and marine animals were exposed to high levels of radiation, leading to genetic mutations and population decline. The fallout also led to a dramatic increase in the levels of radioactivity in the lagoon, creating a toxic environment for the marine life that once thrived there. The once vibrant ecosystem of Bikini Atoll was forever altered. So, what is the state of Bikini Atoll today? Bikini Atoll, once the site of intense nuclear testing, now boasts a different kind of distinction. In 2010, the Atoll was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This recognition wasn't just for its natural beauty or unique biodiversity, but for its historical significance and the crucial role it played in shaping global conversations about nuclear weapons and the environment. A tangible testament to a past fraught with power and peril, the Atoll serves as a poignant reminder of the consequences of nuclear testing. Yet, this designation doesn't erase the scars left by decades of nuclear experimentation. The islands still bear the invisible burden of their past, with radioactive contamination making them largely uninhabitable. The indigenous population, once displaced, remain scattered, unable to return to their ancestral lands. The health risks too continue to persist. The inhabitants who were encouraged to return in the 70s faced ongoing health issues due to radiation exposure. This led to the US government providing compensation to the affected communities, a small redress for a colossal upheaval. Today Bikini Atoll remains a paradoxical symbol of both devastation and resilience. A place of natural beauty marred by human ambition, it is a testament to the resilience of nature and the enduring spirit of its people. Bikini Atoll stands as a stark reminder of the complexities surrounding nuclear weapons and the importance of global security.